we are talking about this morning is if you've got children in school, secondary school, you might have received a letter warning you that your child could be excluded and the police informed if they get involved with this TikTok trend of abusing teachers in videos and sharing them online. You might have had a letter like this. I've had one uh, with my two teenagers being at a secondary school uh, warning us that this is TikTok craze where people are taking the mick at one level out of their teachers, which is something that we've always done, haven't we? But on the other level, abusing them and posting stuff that's offensive and uh, often is a crime. So these letters have been sent out. Dozens of teachers have reported harassment on social media in recent weeks. Some of them have had to get signed off sick. Some of the teachers have reported kids shouting at them at the, in the corridors after some of the stuff they've been watching on TikTok. So it's a craze where you set up a fake account about your school and then post all sorts of stuff about the teachers. So earlier in the show you heard from Julie McCulloch. She had something to say on this. She's the Director of Policy at the National Association for School and College Leaders and said there's quite a spectrum of videos out there. Some of them are are just young people, you know, in, in some cases actually being, you know, just a, a kind of mild ribbing of the sorts of, um, you know, habits of teachers that you talk about. You know, that's yeah. the sort of thing that teachers would be very familiar with. Um, and, 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 you know, that, that's not the problem here. The problem is at the other end of the, the spectrum that, that I've been talking about here, you know, those really defamatory, unpleasant comments. You know, we, we heard from one of our members over the weekend who's a, an assistant head in a secondary school. He'd had just some horrible, horrible content posted about him over the weekend. And he phoned um, our hotline team in tears on Sunday morning saying, I'm sat in my car. Um, I've just come away from my family because I need a bit of space. I don't know how I can go back into school again on Monday morning. And that, you know, that at the at the extreme end of the spectrum is what teachers and leaders are having to deal with. And, and you know, we we know this is bad enough at the best of times, but, you know, we all know what we've all had to deal with over the last couple of years in terms of the pandemic. You know, schools have, are still dealing with enormous numbers of pupils being ill, uh, staff absences. You know, they, they really are on their knees in a lot of cases here. And this is just something they didn't need at the moment. Let's talk to Tom, who knows about this. Morning, Tom. Morning. How Hello. Are you? I'm all right, thank you. You're a teacher. We're not saying where you work, where the school is. It's not in Nottinghamshire, so we'll, we'll, we'll say that. How has this affected yeah. you? Um, well, I, I mean, to be fair, I've been on social media for quite a while before it happened. So I think that kind of hardened me up to it. Yeah. And um, so I, I've been on Twitter for like five or six years before and, and, you know, experienced various different things on the platform. So when the videos come to light, even though it shocks me, um, I was able to kind of mentally deal with it um but what? obviously like you've just you've just heard that clip and obviously some people it's different you know obviously what were they saying about you um so they used a word obviously i won't say it but it um it begins with the letter n and it refers to um adults who are inappropriate towards children um and that was basically plastered on a couple of videos um the videos got about I think it was about twelve, thirteen thousand views, mm. um, and um, obviously um, I so they didn't were know accusing about accusing you of being a paedophile, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah and thirteen thousand yeah. people have seen that. Yeah, yeah, and there was about two fifty comments. Um, a lot of the comments were laughing emojis and you know thumbs up emojis and and whatever, um, and. Um, yeah, and obviously I, I didn't I what? didn't know about it until somebody pointed it out to me um, through work. You know, obviously they'd come across it or someone had seen it, and then obviously I was approached about it. And then obviously it took me took me about two seconds to find it on TikTok. <sighs> you know, that's how long like? it took me to find it. When someone says there's a video of you, you know, kids are accusing you of being a paedophile and 12,000 others have seen it, and then you open it up, what, what was that like? Well... <sighs> Yeah, I mean, to be fair, at that point, I didn't know exactly what was said on them. I just knew that, that there were videos, they were abusive. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing, as I said, I don't think anything surprises me anymore. I think there's a general trend towards, I, I think a lot of teachers experience abuse in in, in terms of um, 
uh, particularly on social media at the moment, it, nothing really surprises me. I mean, if you look at the way, even even you were mentioning on the news there, even the anti vax um, situation with with people turning up at schools and walking into the schools and kind of shouting at at, at staff and you know handing them letters and all this kind of stuff. It, it's part of a wider thing of like you know, we can do what we want kind of thing to teachers. It's yeah. it's mad. Sounds like, sounds like you've had enough, Tom. Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far because I love teaching and um, I, I've i always loved teaching. You know, I've taught in nine schools now. It, it's something that I've loved, I've always loved to do. Um, it's my 14th year. Um, but equally, yeah, I mean, at some point you've got to draw a line, haven't you? You know, if, if, kid, if people... I'm making videos like that and it's getting that many hits and views and then TikTok aren't taking any action. And does it spill over into the actual school world, you know, beyond the digital world, that when you see it can, kids it in real do, life? It, it, it can do for some, yeah. It can do. Um, I, I, I've heard of... Um, t- I've heard of teachers who where the abuse has kind of dwelt into, into school life as well. Um, what, like being shouted at, at in the corridor, that kind of thing? Yeah, just different different examples of teachers where different things have happened in classrooms, in corridors, in um, in various situations. So yeah, it can, thing can is, go in Tom, there as well. Kids have always been a bit mean to the teachers, haven't they? You know, sometimes when I think back what we were like <laughs> at my school, yeah, um, which was a you know at the time a bit of a ropey secondary school, and I think that the things that we did to our teachers, and yeah. I, I you know I wouldn't dream of behaving like that now. And actually, I talked to my yeah. um, teenagers last night about this story because I said you're on tick. I mean, they're on TikTok. Uh, yeah. Can you show me some of these videos? Because I want to know what I'm talking about. And the ones they showed me, it was uh, one of them said, actual real life footage of Mr. Bond when someone's got their shirt untucked and there's this guy running down the street and rugby tackling people. I thought that was actually quite funny. And there was another one where um, somebody had been filming a teacher in um, assembly, I think. And it was like, how long will it take for Miss Smith to mention she has a background in science? Which is obviously a thing she says all the time. And it was 12 seconds. And they were mildly amusing, actually, I thought. Yeah, but I think um, there's a couple of issues there. One is one is copyright. One is the fact that if they're taking images from the um, uh, the, the the person without permission that's been posted publicly, then that's basically potentially illegal. Um, second thing would be is that I agree with you. I think um, that has been that, but there is a a distinct difference between that and and abuse and. I, you know, and I think anybody can, can, well, from what I've just described to you, that's very different to, yes. Yes. to that. Um, so and there's I think a spectrum, that there, isn't there? There's a whole spectrum what's going on here with these There, there is accounts. a spectrum, but I think you've also got to understand that if you're an educa- educator and you're a teaching professional and you're worried all day about when you're being recorded or when you're having photos took of you, or how are you supposed to teach? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's definitely. very different to it's very different to ninety. I mean, I went to school in the nineties. I know, I know full well what it was like. But that at least, at least, as it, uh, at least, it was it was very much it packaged within that that lesson. Nobody, you know, was you didn't have to the worry. Teacher. Yeah, having the t- you having didn't the... have to worry about kids with phones out mm-hmm. under the desk mm-hmm. or 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 what what's going on. Am I being audio recorded? Is it going to be posted on social media? And you know full well that platforms like tiktok aren't going to take it down and that's the other thing you know, have they have they even your video sound it sounds horrendous yeah. what they've done to you it really does have they taken it down did they deal with it well they, di- they did take it down but they haven't contacted me and the only reason they took it down is because it went out on the bbc is because i did the interview with elaine dunkley on on the bbc and it, it was it was on the national news and, and about an hour after that they were taken down so I think that tells you everything you need to know. Yeah. The only reason they're going to do anything is if it comes to light. Mm. Thanks for talking. Uh, really, really interesting to talk to you. I'm sorry for what you've gone through. It sounds horrible, Tom. No um, problems. Um, what are no you teaching problems. today in school? It's history, isn't it? You're a history teacher. Oh, I'm, par- I'm, I'm part-time, so I'm three days a week. Um, mm. So I'll be in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So the, the rest of the time I do, uh, I do actually I do something called Teachers Talk Radio. So 
we've got oh, like nice. an online yeah it's like oh. an online radio station for for teachers so Brilliant. we do okay. um yeah it's, it's similar to what you do but, but <laughs> like not not as not as professional as you well, I don't know. <laughs> no i'm joking we are going good. a bit yeah. there uh tom thank you lovely to talk to you tom is a, is a teacher he's not in nottinghamshire but uh what's happened to him is very upsetting isn't it it's bb3